Massive shout out to Blazing Boost for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are looking to get anything Destiny 2 related, if you're struggling with any exotics, any quests, then this is a place to check out, especially with the brand new season of the Splicer. Now, Blazing Boost are offering a lot of good services. If you guys are struggling, they'll get the Sherpas in to help you through the raid. And not only that, they are taking VOG pre-orders, so that is Vault of Glass pre-orders for day one and the first week. So if you're not going to be able to get on at that time and you really want the brand new loot like the Fate Bringer or anything like that, make sure to check out the discount codes down below because they will be offering quite a lot of discounts, especially if you use the links that I'm going to leave in the description and not only that for a year of service so blazing boost on destiny 2 has been around for a year so they've actually offered me a discount code for everyone to use so make sure you check them out down in the description and in the comment section and not only that blazing boost if you guys are wondering if they are legit check out the trust pilot it's one of the best ones for pretty much any service i've seen over 13,850 reviews on the trust pilot so if that doesn't say it's a good deal i don't know what does so check it out down below and as always i will catch you in the next one hey guys welcome back to a new video today i've got such a highly requested video and that is going to be a brand new updated pvp version of my normal build for the brand new season now a lot of things have changed pvp wise for quite a few obviously characters and there's a lot of different mods that you can't use that was really good last season that aren't so good this season and obviously ones you can't use so with that said if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe i pretty much do weekly or one to two videos a week on destiny 2 about the brand new season and everything like that so if you're looking for builds tips or tricks then definitely subscribe with post notifications turned on and leave a like on today's video now you guys have been smashing it for the new season so I'm going to set the like goal of today's video to 100 likes because I know these build videos do do really well on the channel and I do really appreciate it. Let me know what next build you want me to do. If you want me to do a Warlock, Titan or even a PvE build for the Hunter, let me know down below and let's jump straight into today's build. So the build... <laughs> Hasn't really changed too much guys, obviously a few things have changed in my opinion and I'm going to be discussing them. So we're going to start off with this subclass and for me it's definitely going to be top tree Teva or Night Stalker. Now this subclass is one of the most underrated ones, especially if you're shotgunning or sniping. This is definitely one you're going to want to be using. Now I prefer Vortex Grenade but it doesn't really matter too much on the nade. The one you're going to want to run is Gambler's Dodge to get you out of scenarios a lot better than Marksman's Dodge. Now this is good if you don't use Dragon Shadow but obviously you've seen already we are using Dragon Shadow as our exotic. So reloading your weapon is going to be useless to us and we're going to take obviously the maneuverability. And then we do have Strafe Jump on. Now you guys know I used to be a, third, a triple jump sort of person but I did change to strafe and trust me I don't think I'm going back anytime soon and then top tree tether. Now the reason for this is because every time we're dodging we're going invisible as well and trust me that will get you out of a lot of situations and be able to get you quite a lot of kills while you are invis. Now the guns that I'm going to be using as you can probably see if you've seen most of my builds is going to shock you. Now, usually what I would run is the Fell Winters, but as you guys know, Quick Draw has been took off shotguns, so to be fair, I pretty much tried them out, and for me, I do prefer the Astral, I have to say. This one that I've got right here is good. Obviously, if you don't have the Astral or a good roll like opening shot range, then probably use the Fell Winters still. But we are using the Astral with my God Roll Igneous Hammer, Killing Wind Rampage, Stability, High Cal Rounds. This thing absolutely melts in Crucible and that's what I've been using paired up with the Astral. Now them two, obviously you can just stick your fellow Winters on with a 120. Now 120s have had a little bit of a nerf guys but they are still superior over the hand cannon slots. And obviously that is what I like to run. So I still run 120s even though they're not as good as they once was. But I'd still say they're better than the 140s in my personal opinion. Now, heavy, heavy weapon, a lot of people put swords on and that, and I'm telling you, don't use swords. The amount of times you will have gone for heavy and you've realised you've got a sword on, maybe you're free peeking in trials. 
Now, I don't do that, but obviously, I know a lot of viewers do that. And obviously, it's a good tip if you want to get wins. But for me, it's not worth losing around a heavy. So, I always have the World Cliff Coil. Definitely the best heavy weapon in the game to get. Now, I've been looking at the artifact. And to be fair, this season, it's not made for PvP at all. Last season, we had such a good one with Sniper. Sort of targeting mods, that sort of thing. Unflinching hand cannon. But for this one, we're really not going to want anything off the artifact. So if you haven't got this season, then it wouldn't really matter to you either. So nothing off the artifact. Now, the build that I always run and always will run, and I know a lot of people are going to mourn at me for running 100 mobility, but I do like 100 mobility and 100 recovery. Now, I know the Dragon Shadow gives you a plus 50 when you dodge, so you don't have to run 100, you can run... 50. Now the only reason why I run 100 mobility guys is for the higher jump height, that is the only reason, but if you guys are not bothered about the jump height, what I recommend doing is going for 50 mobility at least, then you're going to want 100 recovery and a high intellect, trust me. People forget how good supers are in this game, especially for trials, the higher the intellect the easier the games are going to be. Now for the mods what we do have... Like I said, last season was so good for PvP with the mods off the seasonal. I think this right here, this mod was worth 1. And as you can see, it's worth 5. So we are running a recovery mod with hand cannon targeting. So it's not going to be as good as last season, but this is still going to be the best ones that we can get. Now for the arms, what we're running is a mobility mod with a shotgun dexterity. Now this is crucial this season guys because quick draw has gone faster ready and store speed for shotguns. Make sure you're running it at all times and then we've just thrown a fast ball on that. Now for the chest piece what we're doing is we are running the dragon shadow. Now for new people to the season that may not know what this is, when you do eventually unlock it, dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speeds for a brief time. So not only because quick draw has gone out of the game, this will improve obviously the ready time for your shotgun. So it's like a mini quick draw. It's not as good, but trust me, without this it's even slower and you're not going to want that. Now for this what we do have is a recovery mod with unflinching shotgun aim. Now this mod right here probably will surprise a lot of people, but it's definitely one you need. Now you'll go into some gunfights with your shotgun and you'll miss because you've been flinched off of them. Trust me, I've done it so many times and that is why I run unflinching shotgun aim now. And then we just have radiant light just for that extra 20 strength. It does really help. Obviously the build overall. Now the next one that we are running is pretty standard. We've got a recovery mod with shotgun scavenger. So pretty much every time we pick up special we're getting more bullets. And then because I do, I am a noob and obviously I run control. Well I'm on the Xbox again now so we do use traction. Grant's tighter term radius. This is personal preference. You don't have to use it. If you're not going to use it you can stick something else on. Probably like another shotgun scavenger if you really wanted to, to get even more special. And then the last one that we are running is a recovery mod on his cloak with outreach, reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability. And then we do have powerful friends just to increase the mobility by 20. So that's pretty much the build of this season of the Slicer guys. This is what I'm going to be running when I need to do high end sort of PvP activities. I know you guys love these builds. Like I said, I've got one more PvP hunter build. So if you want to see that or you want to see a different build for a different character let me know down in the comment section i'll try to get them up as quickly as possible but not only that let me know how you're finding season of the splicer and i'd love to know your thoughts and as always i will catch you in the next one